it's such a, a, a gigantic paradigm shift to make the leap from citizen, entity, whatever, person, to the man. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. And it, it, it's, yeah. uh, it's amazing, isn't it? I find it yeah. really interesting that we're so enveloped in the program that they've programmed us with. It, 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 it takes a long time to get to that point where you step the higher, out of the that. Higher, the, the higher your grade point averages was in school, the more A-pluses and gold stars you got, the harder it's going to be to understand what I'm doing. Because they indoctrinated you guys. I have so much easier time dealing with, like, say, a housewife that really didn't give a damn about school or a guy who left school when he was in second or third grade than I have with people who actually have a high school or college education. It's almost impossible for me to get through to these people because they are so absorbed. They are right. You can't show them the simplicity and the beauty of such simplicity. Like, do you not see me, Tarzan, you, Jane, Jane, do wrong? Jane, no, do wrong to Tarzan. So Jane, Jane, give back to Tarzan. That's it. And the church was like, holy crap, this guy figured it out. How did he figure it out? Well, he made a claim. He's not complaining. He stated the facts. Jane, do wrong. Jane, give back. It's simple. And you guys are like, oh, Hale versus Hinkle on the United States Constitution. Well, there's a third article, Court of Confederation, and the, and the pilgrims have this uh, a charter, the Imp- uh, Compact Act. It's like, oh, jeez, you guys got to stop. This is all just misdirection and confusion. This is not acting like a man saying, I make a claim, somebody done me wrong, I want compensation, I owe what, this is what's due to me. Or somebody saying, who's making a claim that I owe them, who's making a claim that I owe what they claim is due? Where is it? Where is this man? Where is this woman? I'm not dropping down to your level. You're going to come up to my level. How many of you got? You're going to come and talk as a man. I'm not going to act and talk to my servants. You're a public servant. I'm the public. I'm not going to drop down and talk to you. You just do your effing job and leave me alone. Yay. Been, the, 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 we, we have, you, well, you know, well, they've well, been... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Angela. Go ahead. Say what you going to say. No, it's all right. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Because I was going to say you got like 53 seconds and we hit the two-hour mark. Yay. Why are you tired? Do you want to get off the phone? No, you can just ask me whatever the question was you want to ask me. Well, I was going to ask you, uh, you know, I think I mentioned it to you briefly on the phone about my friend who, um, you know, he's on a fixed income and now they're re- they've reassessed him because this living situation changed. And so they're deducting $200 a month from his Social Security or is it maybe it's his supplemental security income. Mm-hmm. And he had a right to appeal that decision and ask for a reassessment, which he filled out the paperwork and sent it in. And that was three months ago. And they're supposed to get back to him, I think, within 19 days. But they haven't, they've just ignored him. And there's an article online about how terrible the social security, they're not giving people their right to due process. In other words, yes, so I, you know, they're you know asking why? for, go ahead. You know why? Because people are sitting around like him and complaining. Right? Uh, right? Is he sitting around with other people and making claims in his local mom and pop district court? Uh, the same he's kind of a disabled person. Okay. Is there a reason why he can't just make two or three simple sentences? Like, they have a duty and an obligation in which they subscribe to, uh, uh, ascribe to this lady named Susie. Susie has been in dereliction of duty in which she's failing to perform a service or function in which society is paying her, you know, to perform. Mm-hmm. Why can't he just make simple claim like that and saying she's refusing to do her job? Well, he can't. And, and by her failure to perform in a duty in which she's acquiring, you know, public funds to do her job, is causing him harm. It's causing him a financial loss. Why can't he just, there you go, uh, is at the two-minute mark, yeah, two-hour mark, yay, just download whatever I just said, and there you go. There's your perfect claim. Okay, wait, I'm going to ask you. And follow the claim. And when, she okay. gets dragged before, and when she gets dragged before the court, she's going to say why she believes that she can collect a salary, she can collect an income, she can collect money from the public and not perform a job in which she said that she would perform. 
Well, they usually do the appeals. Someone else does the appeal that's not familiar with the case. Appeal. I say appeal. I say appeal. I say appeal within their system. I say take you to your local mom and pop county court, mm-hmm. like you guys would call small claims. But my one penny claim is a huge claim. I don't define my claim. They might say my claim is, oh, it's so tiny. It's so insignificant. We're going to call it small. No, my claim is a claim. It's, mm-hmm. It means the world to me. If it, if it was worth me getting off my behind and going down to the courthouse and filing something, that is tremendous effort. That took me a lot. That took me 50 years to know what I'm doing. That's a huge claim. That claim is amazing for me to be able to put pen to paper. It took me 12 years of school. And, and I had to learn how to drive, get insurance in my car. That's a massive claim. So don't anybody fucking diminish my claim by saying, oh, that's only a penny. Look, it's a penny to you. It might mean the world to me. Don't you tell me how much this penny is worth. What happened if the Dalai Lama swallowed it? He pooped it out. I went up to the Himalayas, and I got it. You know, that penny could be worth a million bucks. Don't tell me how much my penny's worth. All I'm saying is I'm making a claim. It's mine, and uh, back off. And so as he's saying that this is his, what he's due as compensation, and some lady has the capacity to make it happen, and for some reason she's derelicting, and derelicting her duty, and she, for some reason she doesn't feel like performing that function in which society is paying her to, to do her job, to make the claim against her and let her answer in court. Say, I don't have to give you due process, sir. I don't have to uh, process your claim because um, uh, I don't feel like it because I'm the United States, uh, you know, Social Security, I'm the United States, this, I'm the United States, and I can go tell you, go F yourself, and what are you going to do about it? Let her say that in open court in front of a trial by jury. Let her say it. Let her give the reason why that this man has been being done wrong. What if he doesn't have the name of the person? Oh, he doesn't know who supposed. Oh, that, that, okay, that he's just slack and lazy. No, he because, just. Well, what, I'm just what, saying, what if? I'm what not, if what, I'm not what, saying. Whatever, if somebody what can't dial a phone. What happens if he doesn't know who's who? Who's the one that uh, you know did it? It's just you know doesn't, a computer does, deal or, or something. You know, you've got a million people not, sitting in a room. He doesn't know who, who, he, he he can't he can't call up and say who's been assigned my case. He can't do that. And they'll say nobody. It's like oh, okay, okay, no, I'm no, the... no. What if he has done that several times and they never get back to him? Okay, if he says who's been assigned my case, so he wrote them a letter and he says, uh, "Yeah, my name is Bob Johnson." And uh, when he I calls a case. the number, he doesn't get a. He has to leave a message. What what the hell is wrong with you people that for some reason you forgot how to pick up a pen and paper and use ink? When I say to everybody all the time, the only way to properly answer the court is in writing. Have I ever said to you people, use your tongue that God gave you? No. Did I ever say flap your tongue? No. Did I ever say pick up the phone and make a call? No. You guys can listen over a hundred shows that I've done, and I've always said paper and pen, paper and pen, paper and pen. Is there some reason why he can't put it in paper and pen and write to them? He has. He sent them a okay, uh... And then what did he do? He sent them a letter, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then he, after he sent them the letter, he gave them what? Three days, 10 days, 20 days to answer the letter? Yeah. Okay, and then that he went out and got a process server, okay? And the process server made delivery of the letter? No. I don't think no, he not. went that far. He didn't go that far. Oh, because yeah. the benefits aren't worth it? It's not worth I, making a claim? I guess Why he's not quite... Why did you just get a process server? Because he, he's, young, he's, he's a young kid and he doesn't know how to operate uh, within a... Uh, Public? No, he's an older gentleman. He doesn't. He can't get around that easily. He can't get back and forth. He's got. Uh, he's like in a locker situation. Ma'am, I, I had a process. A ma'am, I had a process where... serve, ma'am, I had a process server deliver upon uh, the court and the people I was suing in Alabama. I had them sue over a telephone. Oh yeah. What did that have to do with me going down to Alabama to call up a process server? This it's like processserviceroreus.com. It's like. They're all over the United States. I didn't know you can have someone of, served over the phone. You Right. You call up a process server, and the processserver.com company will give you like four or five, 20 people, 100 people in your neighborhood. They'll be more than glad to, for 50 bucks to go serve your letter on a party that's not answering. Because as soon as they're not answering, the process server says, hey, look, I, may, I handed that person that letter. And he now he's going to write a statement to, the, to you on your, on, say, uh, I made a delivery to this man or this woman on this day at this time. 
So now, now you got proof that this person is deliberately ignoring you. That this person has the has uh, been assigned this job to answer, and they're not doing their job. So now that's just proof. When you go into court, it's like, look, I did every attempt to communicate with this person. This person has a duty and obligation to communicate back with me. For some reason, this person feels to be derelict in their duty. And by that dereliction of duty, go to your finance division of your state. Look for risk management. It clearly says when somebody's dereliction of duty and the course of somebody harm or loss as a state employee, the compensation is due. Make a claim that somebody's derelict in their duty is causing you harm. Look at like you got a, look at this simple example of potholes. Uh, I forgot what city they were doing it in. It was Ohio or Cleveland or Chicago, and they were saying people are coming in, and the city is compensating them for not fixing the holes in the ground, and uh, people's cars are being damaged, and the cities are paying out millions of billions of dollars this winter because of potholes. Hmm. There's dereliction of duty. They have a certain duty to perform a certain function in which they're getting paid. And when they're not doing it, you can make a claim for compensation that your car got damaged. He can make a claim for compensation that his life is being impacted by the fact that this woman has a certain duty and obligation. She's accepting federal funds or, or government funds or public funds, and she's derelict in her duty. Make a claim. This is like asking me what if he his car hit a pothole and it dented his uh, uh, rim. I tell him the same damn thing. Why not who's in the charge of that department, say that, that there's some subordinates of theirs are in dereliction of duty, and, and you've accrued a financial loss due to their actions or inactions. That so was it right there. Thank you so much. All that right. was it. <laughs> that was just all I wanted to know. Very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> 